we all kind of met at Sound City in Liverpool. Um, and sort of Joe was playing, me and Sam were just there as like punters. Kieran was working it. Um, and we all just sort of like came together. And we're like, you know, it'd be, it'd be cool to like play this festival like next year or something. It's like a, a pretty, pretty cool thing in Liverpool. Um, and then Kieran, you know, had had some songs and was like, well, let's let's get a band together. So we did, and we kind of <clears throat> we surpassed ourselves really. <laughs> like mm. with very humble ambitions, we've kind of gone a lot further than we ever expected. <laughs> Liverpool is a really good city for music that a lot of our friends are in bands and that they're sort of they started getting sort of like levels of success like a couple of years ago so for me that's been like a massive influence like seeing the way that they progressed and like I saw like our housemates were all in a band and they'd like went to tour America like a couple of years ago and that was a massive that was like a massive kick in the arse was like well if they're touring bloody America then I'm bloody touring a tour because they were all smashing it weren't they for a good couple of years we just kind of sat at home, just being like, oh. <laughs> when we started the band, we got a room in elevator practice rooms. There's like six floors. We started off in the basement in a room that was like a T-shape. When they realised we were a serious band, we, we gradually went up the floors. Now we're on, was it level three? We're on level three now, which is it's pretty good. We're, look, we're aiming for six eventually. We thought we were all sort of playing in bands around Liverpool and, and where we grew up and stuff. And yeah, we all grew up and had the experience of playing in different bands and stuff and playing in different venues and by the time it came to us meeting each other, we were all pretty ready to break through the mould. Uh -huh. I think we, we really want to sort of capture really great songs within that sort of rock and roll, you know, outfit vibe, if you know what I mean, because I mean, it's good being a rock and roll band and like getting into it, but if the songs aren't there, then it doesn't fucking matter, you know what I mean, so we just try and write good songs, but then play as hard as possible, so. The way that people listen to music has completely changed, regardless of you know what kind of music you're in, and sort of emphasis is heavily on streaming and you know playlists. And I think that that combined with the fact that maybe guitar music is at a point where it it's not necessarily uh, at its most popular. I think those two things working together make it a little bit difficult. But I think that you kind of can't really worry about it too much because. If, if the songs are good, it doesn't really matter what instruments you play it on. Young Chases was like nostalgic and looking back. Mm. And this record was more about in the present time. It was written in early 2016. And there was a lot of crazy shit going on with Brexit in the UK and, um, you know, a lot of immigrant stuff being happening down south. And I think, like, I always sort of see it as more of a humanist view. And like a kind of, I definitely don't keep up with politics too much. Um, I feel quite out of my depth when you know if, if a conversation about it starts. But I think from a pure like the song "Different Creatures" was, was literally just about how can we turn these people away who are just trying to live. And you know, if you send them back, they're going to die. So to me, that's that's not. It's sort of it's much broader than any sort of political thing. It's like just a human point of view. There's lots of stuff going on. It never, the record was never intended to be like a political record or or what have you. But there's a couple of tunes that are more serious. Um, but I think that's just part of like the band developing and maturing. And you know, you can't write about 
getting drunk in bars <laughs> for every song. It's just a little too late for conversations. It's just a bit too much ground for me to make up. But you give it all that you got now. Give it all that you got now. Give it all. I quite enjoy the festival seat, like the challenge of trying to fit all the songs into half an hour. It, ju it just is a set full of bangers, mm -hmm. which I love. I find it nerve wracking anyway, these sort of acoustic things. I find it easier to play in front of 10,000 people than do this, really. Mm. And Liverpool's always a, an interesting one because you've got like your family there and your, people you recognise. What was that moment that you thought, we've smashed it? I think like um, we did Wine Off Festival last summer. And it felt like we were headlining like Reading and Leeds or something, it was incredible. Um, and that gave me the belief to just, just kind of go like, we can just keep going up, I don't see why not, the music's there, the fan base is there, so let's just push this as far as I can. Yeah. 